The permission is sought in the house that we want to extend this. Pardon? What time? Up to what time that we want to go on with the house, sir? Because there are all kinds of things coming up that the government intend to build being another bill which has to be passed either today yes. or tomorrow or whether we are taking another labor law bill or not. Okay. We are not very sure whether because what is, we have said by 5 o'clock, the 5 hours okay. were devoted to this. I think if they are in a hurry, they should no, cut down their I, speaker. I would like to, uh, yes. You are, they should cut down their speaker point, yes. if they are in a hurry, sir. What is the but government's like reaction? To know, until the when, you know, it's going. Has the house decided? Now listen. Deputy Speaker. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, Deputy Chairman, the issue is that we really want uh, immediate uh, discussion on the very important judicial uh, bill. And that bill, the minister is also ready. So after the completion of one speech. That can, is over. Ah, that's over. That speech so is now over. We can, now what you have to discuss. <coughs> okay. You complete. We are requesting you just. Two minutes if one member is speaking because law ministry is just, just coming. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Bill. No, no, please. Bill is also, the original bill is already circulated. The copies are, it is already circulated in the session and even the bill copies are here. One amendment, one minute. One, <coughs> one minute. Minister is here. Aap batai. So no, he can explain the amendment and other things, and we can we should take up. That's our request. Okay. Now one second. One second. Now. No, 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 please. As amended okay. by the Lok Sabha. No, no, no. Oh, that's correct. Now, Law Minister, one minute. One minute. Law Minister, one minute. You see, I want uh, to info. No, please. I, I will. I will give you time. I will give you time. No, no. You said you will come back to me. Go home. I raised earlier? Ah, yeah, yeah. That is for you to raise. Uh, I will give you time for that. No, no, you said you will come back. I will come back. That, that, that my point what was, the but that point was, I am repeating, that point was once the Lok Sabha adopts a bill, as adopted by the Lok Sabha, I'll it come is to circulated. You I'll come back to you. And then you give us time for amendment. I will come, I will Unless come, Unless the will treasury benches have some other no, proposal. No, no, that HRG, is the normal, Actually, I will come back to you. I will come back to you. There's no, before that, let me clear uh, Mr. Mistry's uh, uh, doubt. Actually, the Business Advisory Committee uh, has decided and it is announced, informed to the House also. Deputy Chairman made the following announcements in the House on 18th. The, that is, the committee also recommended that the House may sit up to 6 p.m. and beyond till 8 p.m. For, for transaction of government legislative and other business. So it is already a recommendation of the BSE. So that is taken part. Now, now the question which has been raised by Honorable uh, Lopi and uh, Sri Achuriji. I will meet your points, but let me first uh, allow the law minister to have his say, he, because he was standing already. Yes, Honorable Law Minister. Sir, I have to make a very humble request. Sir. I see Honorable Leader of Opposition points that if in the bill there is some amendment that must come in the proper amended form. The whole process has been completed. The printing part is there. I must concede. Sir, we, there can be two-way approach to it, sir. The Lok Sabha has passed the constitutional amendment and the bill. Sir, as far as here today is concerned, I want to assure the honorable members that the constitutional amendment is as it is as circulated. There is no change except one. It was 102nd Amendment. After calculation, it has to be 99th Amendment. Therefore, only that numbering part is there. Because I piloted the bill and also replied in the other house. As far as the substance is concerned, sir, in the constitutional amendment duly circulated, there is not even a comma full stop change. Okay. Therefore, what I am requesting today is that let this House considered the constitutional amendment at least. Let me introduce that and let me put my uh, initial comments. Let the other honorable members start, subject to whatever House decides. As far as the other amendment part bill is concerned, in the morning it will come in that form also. But there is except one change in Clause 7, where we had stated that the President on reconsideration, the advice will have to be unanimous. That unanimous part has been removed 
by an amendment moved at the instance of the uh, opposition there. Namely, we have stated clause 5 and 6 shall be followed. That is there. Therefore, if they have any objection, all right, the printed form will be available tomorrow morning. But as far as the constitutional amendment bill is concerned, in which there is no change at all, that can be taken with greatest respect and debate <coughs> started. So now the position is, I'll, 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 I'll come back. No, no, Echuri, Echuri had asked. No. Yeah. I will allow you also. Let, sir, let me say sir, sir, I am making a point of order as well, Please. as a procedural point. Sir, as far as I understand, there are two bills under consideration. One is a constitution amendment bill, and the other one is a bill for the creation of a judicial, a ju judicial appointments commission bill. Now, sir, <coughs> the constitutional amendment bill <coughs> is a bill that enables us, as the legislature, to take a bill for the appointment or creation of a judicial commission till the constitution is not amended. To enable us to consider such a bill, we do not have the right according to the constitution as of today. So without the constitution being amended and that amendment coming into effect, the further, the other bill that you have in the Lok Sabha, you have listed as number 96 or, or, or the Constitution Amendment Bill is after that, succeeding that bill in terms of the numbers. That is what was circulated earlier. You may have changed the numbers, so that's a different point. But the question is, till the Constitution Amendment comes into effect, the legislator, I would like to humbly submit, does not have the right to enact a bill for the creation of a judicial commission for appointments. Now, sir, my objection is not to that uh, content of that bill. On the contrary, when the honorable member moved to withdraw the earlier bill, I had made the point, which he is aware and the House is aware, that I want a larger ambit of a general judicial commission, which will take into account not only appointments, but also the issue of acts of omission and commission, etc., various allegations that come. So I want a larger judicial commission. So therefore, I'm not opposing that bill. I'll vote with that bill. But I'm only asking you to seriously consider that are we, be, I mean, are we creating a situation where this proposal for creation of a judicial appointment commission will be treat, become ultra virus of the Indian constitution because our right to bring about a bill to enact such a provision comes only after the constitution, a constitution amendment bill becomes effective. That becomes effective, sir, after both these houses pass, when at least one half of the state assemblies approve and it is returned. And only then the constitution stands amended. And only then we have the right to pass or consider and adopt the other bill. So therefore, till this is done, I am afraid that we are opening ourselves for being, being termed as being, taking an action which is considered ultra-virus and therefore it is very likely can be struck down. I do not want this house to undergo this ignominy. So let us seriously consider this point and according to rule 67, sir, if there's an, on the ground that the bill initiate legislation outside Para 2 of Rule 67, where it, it says, where provided that where a motion is opposed on the ground that the bill initiates legislation outside the legislative competence of the council, the chairman may permit a full discussion thereon. I would like to humbly submit that this is not an objection to the content of the bill. I would support you entirely on that issue. In fact, I would argue when, I, when our party speaks, CPM, that please extend the ambit to make it a judicial commission, larger judicial commission. But the validity of such so, a bill, validity you, of such I a bill, that. I would want I the uh, council to consider. No, no, I am, that asking, I am asking a question. Uh, Are you opposing the introduction on the basis of Rule 67? The bill has already show. been introduced. Uh, so, so therefore, it's no law. No. The point is... No. no the oh, the amended bill has not been introduced. No, it, yeah. that's what no, I'm so, saying. So, so uh. it has not been introduced. But the point is, no. sir, we are considering that together what all, no, no. the other... No, no. Sir, no, no, the point sir, is... Sir, the point is... I'll come to you. The point is... 
The point is, I'm fully aware that the other house in its wisdom has passed. Yeah. It the is other not house, an introduction. Yes. It is a bill passed there. No, it's a bill passed there. Uh, so, so, therefore... So, will 67 apply? That uh, it will, sir. I'll tell you why. According to my interpretation, you can give your ruling on it. According to my interpretation, why it will apply is that following thing is that this, if we consider the council, if this council considers that such a legislation is likely to be violative of the Indian constitution, we have the right, we have the right to withhold that till the constitution is amended. And sir, no, if no, you no, remember, no. if you remember, okay, I got your the point. Pa last point I want to make, if you remember on the diamond jubilee of the okay. Indian parliament, last point, yeah. you'll also uh, like this point. Yeah, the diamond jubilee of, the, of, of our august house in the parliament, we all had to, I mean, we all spoke. Okay. There I said we inherited the color scheme of the British Westminster system. The House of Commons in, in Britain is the colour yes. green, the House of Lords is colour red, and blue is the royalty. I got your point. No, please. No, no, you didn't get the point, sir. <laughs> when the Lok Sabha, when the Lok Sabha shows the green signal and it passes something, if we find something is wrong, our job is to show this red signal, sir. That is our colour of the house. Okay. So therefore, you please consider what I am saying with seriousness. Hello, Pierre, Pierre. And I want the Honourable Law Minister also to consider, let yes. it not be struck down Hello, Pierre, as now, ultra virus. After. You want to know? Ultra virus, so after. let it be to okay. give a proper consideration. Okay, I will call you after. Mr. Raji, I will call I'm you just after. Uh, wanting to say that Mr. Yuchuri has given totally, uh, totally different dimension to the entire thing and is uh, quite uh, eye-opener for all of us that the entire legislation will become ultra-virus. So my suggestion before my colleague Mr. Anand Sharma would speak, I would require that, of course, we have great lawyers from all the sides here, but I think one of the oldest luminary uh, in this legal profession is uh, uh, Mr. Prasaran. Before we all decide what to do, can we can we request him to throw the light what Mr. Yuchuri has said? Okay, we, he will also be allowed. Say, Mr. Misraji. If sir, Parash Sarindhi wants to speak, I am happy to listen sir, to uh, sir, after Mr. all respect, yes. sir, to my uh, learned colleague and dear friend uh, Sitaram Yuchuri ji. He is probably under the impression that the Constitution amendment, that with respect to the, by the other amendment, the commission is being constituted. And till the constitution is amended, the commission cannot be constituted, it will become ultra -world. If it, would, it, it was like that, he is right. But the situation over here is different. Under the constitution amendment bill, the commission is being created. The commission is being constituted under the constitution 121st amendment bill, which the number has been corrected. Now, it is the commission stands created under this constitutional amendment bill. The other bill, which is being uh, termed as the National Judicial Appointments Commission bill, is laying down the procedure which will be followed after the commission is constituted, after the commission uh, uh, amendment of the constitution is done. So, uh, the fear in the mind of uh, my learned friend uh, Mr. Vachuri is, uh, uh, probably there is some confusion, which I would like to clear to him also, besides make it before the House also, that which the law minister will also uh, clear it, clarify it. The amendment in the Constitution <laughs> brings the Commission in earlier, if, you're, if you, it would be recollected, the, it was reversed. The Commission, by means of a statutory bill, the Commission was being sought to be constituted. And it was being brought in the constitution only this much that there will be a constitution of the commission. So the fear was that if uh, the, in the constitution, the commission's constitution is not uh, provided, there may be a change in the constitution of the commission by simple legislation by any political party which comes into power or which has majority. So that would not be proper for the purposes of permanency and uh, it has been now taken a stand, a stand has been taken under this bill after withdrawing the earlier bill that incorporating the amendment in the constitution itself and therefore it would not be ultra virus on this ground. The second aspect is only this much which can be considered of course when the matter is placed tomorrow by the other bill that unless the constitution is amended, the commission is constituted, thereafter the procedure will follow. 
and that is a subsequent thing that can be considered and discussed tomorrow. But so far as the constitution amendment is concerned, bringing the judicial commission into enforce, I don't think so. There is any difficulty into that, and uh, constitutionally also it so can be. Taking both together. No, no they, they can uh, they can consider it tomorrow. Sir, one of you, one of you. Let me be clear, sir. First, bring the constitution amendment bill. Yeah. You adopt it. Let the that constitution be amended. And then bring the other bill, there's no that, problem. The procedure. Is, uh, the procedure. procedure. Yeah, but, no. but if you bring Actually, both together, but listen to Mr. Parashar. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Listen to uh, Mr. Yeah, I, I know. Before I call Honorable Parashar, I, I would say to clear what, under, what I understand from the law minister is that he is now only talking about this constitutional amendment bill. That is what we are to take up now, according to him. Is it true? Now, not the other bill now. Am I correct? Because the other bill, there is an amendment, has to be circulated later. So we are only concerning the constitutional amendment now. That is the position, which you have no objection. Now, Honorable Parashar, I have called Honorable Parashar. Now I have called it. Please. Respected and Honorable Mr. Vice Chair, Deputy Chairperson, there is a point which we have to apply our mind. Of course, if the constitution amendment alone is taken up for consideration, there can be no objection. But we cannot also consider the bill the, for passing the act at this stage, because Article 368 contemplates two kinds of amendments to the Constitution. Constitution. If the Honorable Deputy Chairman will have a look yes. at Article 368 of the Constitution, yeah. it contemplates two types of amendments to the Constitution. Please see, notwithstanding anything in this Constitution, Parliament may, in excess of its constituent power, amend by way of addition variation or repeal any provision of this constitution in accordance with the procedure laid down in this article. Then two is very important. An amendment of this constitution may be initiated only by the introduction of a bill for the purpose in either house of parliament and when the bill is passed in each house by a majority of the total membership of the house and by a majority of not less than two thirds of the members of that house present and voting, he shall be presented to the president who shall give his assent to the bill and thereupon the constitution shall stand amended in accordance with the terms of the bill. There's no problem on the main point. But please need the proviso, yeah. which is the problem now. Provided that if such amendment seeks to make any change in clause B, chapter 4 of part 5, chapter 5 of part 6, etc., we are now concerned with those amendments. Yeah. The amendment shall also require to be ratified by the legislatures of not less than one half of the states by resolution to that effect, passed by those legislatures before the bill making provision for such amendment is presented to the president for assent. Yeah. It contemplates two kinds of amendments and two kinds of assent to the president. If it does not involve any of the provisions falling under the proviso, can state go for the president's assent, it will become law. But if it attracts the provisions of the proviso, it can't state go to the president. Because there, the proviso says, then the, those legislatures, before the bill making provision for such amendment, is presented to the president. Therefore, before it is presented to the president, it must go by ratification. Okay. Before ratification, if we take the act and pass the act, today it will be unconstitutional and ultraviolet. Because the power to make the enactment has been seen only in the articles. 368 gives the power to make it only after the gratification. So, can I ask a clarification? Yes, yes. Now, see, my clarification is, what I want to know is this. You have mentioned there are two provisions. Number one, if it is amended in a particular way, it can directly go to the president. If the amendment involves chapter four or the part, part five or chapter five or part, et cetera, et cetera, it has to be ratified by half then of the back. assemblies. Okay. I accept both these. But do any of these objections prevent us, object us, from consider considering this bill now? That is my question. No, the, the, no, no. Today we must, we no. don't have the legislative competence. Because no, no, no. no. I like, I like. No, no, I'm not arguing with you. I'm only asking clarification. No, my no, point, no, my, I'm, I'm sorry. No, this is uh, not yeah, a please, you please. No, this you is please. not a situation. You please. Or uh, one is arguing please, a case. Please, please. Because I'm anxious that the constitutional amendment should be passed and the bill should be passed and the present procedure should change. 
Okay. I am very anxious. But the I problem understand. is this. We should not fall into a trap of the Supreme Court striking down, striking down as unconstitutional. No, I... That is my only answer. Okay, now, no, 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 let me clear. I will allow you. I will allow you. I will allow you. I know it, it, you are questioning the, even answer. the legislative competence. So I will allow. I will go by that rule. But that's correct. So the problem uh, is... I, I, but I have to understand him. That is a point. Eh? Now, see, my only point is, yes, you said that I accept my only question is, here the effort, uh, effort is to amend the constitution only. Yes. And after, no, after we pass this, naturally it will go to assembly, uh, the assemblies, and then only it will go to president. Good. That's accepted. Yes. So what prevents us from taking up the constitution amend bill now? No, that is no all objection. my question. There is no objection. Now objection. Constitution that amendment is. can now, be discussed. Please. Yeah, that, that is, is no clear. Objection. Now, only for Mr. The Minister. Taking in a very hurry. I want to quote one sentence. No, no, we are. But just, just uh, on this, on this. Only one sentence I quote An impression should not go to the country that the parliamentarians were so keen to get it passed in a hurry. This is said by no, none that other is, guy. That's another but, point. Hey, sir, this, this is. Hey, yes, I complain. That is no legal. But, sir, this is. This is there is no legality in that. Yes, no, no. Yes, thing, uh, it's a legal question. This, this is none other than the then opposite deputy leader of the BJP. No, 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 the no, no, don't, don't say that. Minister this is not the issue. Is, this is the that issue is not the sir. issue. Don't, 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 don't. Now, Mr. Minister, please. Mr. Minister, please. Now, Mr. Minister, I call the minister. Uh, uh. Let me clarify at the very outset. What I said, I said was for the constitutional amendment. Yeah. But since certain issues have been raised, let me also clarify with the profoundest respect to my senior colleagues, Siparasran and others present, what are we doing? As Satish Mishraji very rightly pointed out, in our bill duly circulated, the entire composition creation of the National Judicial Commission is a part of the Constitutional Amendment itself. Who will be the chairman? Who will be the members? What shall be the manner of their selection? And what shall be their powers and duties? All is clearly mentioned in this amendment itself, which is our Constitutional Amendment. Now, sir, I come to the second issue. And these two issues are very important. What does Article 368 say? The ratification, the amendment shall also require to be ratified by the legislature of not less than one of the, half the states by resolution to that effect passed by those legislature before the bill making provision for such amendment is presented to the president for assent. Therefore, it is rightly stated that once the 50% of the states approve, it shall go to the president for assent. Now, the bill which we have been passed, the National Judicial Commission, the detail of procedure, what does it say? It says, Honorable Deputy Chairman, it shall come into force on such date as the central government may by notification the official gazette appoint. Therefore, this bill, the other one, passed also along with amendment of the constitution, shall come into effect on such date as the government will notify in the gazette. Obviously, this bill shall come into effect once the president gives the assent, it shall come into operation. Number one. Number two, sir, I'm on a larger issue. Are we so afraid of our constitutionality? We have got summary power. Sir, I will be really grateful. Kindly read with me Article 245 or 246 of the Constitution. Kindly read with me, sir. Why we are so much apprehensive about our summary power? Kindly read Article 246. Notwithstanding anything in clause 2 and 3, Parliament has exclusive power to make laws with respect to any of the matters enumerated in list 1 in the 7th schedule. Therefore, the Parliament has got exclusive power. Kindly, sir, read in 246. Article 246. Okay. I'm reading, sir. You have got it, sir? Honorable oh, okay. Deputy Chairman? Article 246. No, one second, one yes. Second. Article 246. You have got it? I'm taking, I'm taking. Yes, yes, please. 
notwithstanding anything in clause 2 and 3, Parliament has got exclusive power to make laws with respect to any of the matters enumerated in list 1 in the 7th schedule in the constitution. We have got exclusive power to make on subject enumerated in list 1. Now kindly turn to list 1, sir, of 7th schedule and see entry 77 and 78. Mm, that includes this. Kindly read that. Yeah. What is 77? Constitution, organization, jurisdiction and power of Supreme Court. That is yeah. entry 77. That's 78, constitution, organization of the High Court. Therefore, this is the exclusive power of the Parliament under Article yes. 246. And this power is not conditional upon constitutional amendment coming to force or not. It is an independent power available to us. Therefore, what the government has done? The government has done this, that both have been passed. First, the constitutional amendment, first. And thereafter, that bill. The bill shall come into effect after assent has been given. But independent power under Article 246 is available, even if you have not brought. Sir, but the question would arise, why they have passed the bill? And that is very important. This House must understand because it raised. This shall go to 50% of legislature. The, the legislatures, all, all, uh, all the, you're right, you're right. But for ratification, yeah. 50, 50, 50 now, sir, they would like to know if the composition is there, the parliament in his wisdom proposing to give what power, what procedure, how they will work. This bill will become effective after ratification. But the separate bill is for guidance to the legislature as to how the entire structure has come into existence. Therefore, it is neither unconstitutional. We have got summary power under Article 246, read with entry 77 and 78, which is not a limited power. It is a plenary power, exhaustive power. This parliament can pass any law with regard to composition of the Supreme Court, organization, this parliament can pass any law with regard to high court composition. That is not limited power. In that light, what the government has done, that the government has passed the amendment first, the bill thereafter, the bill will become effective after the president gives assent. That the whole thing is about. Therefore, this is no problem at all. This now, should be now, well, yes, I will come. Yes, I will come. Now, the Mr. Minister, Mr. Minister, see, you, the point is that you yourself admit that only after 50 percent of the assemblies have endorsed by resolution, your bill can come into force. And after present was And then you are saying that the, the bill was passed along with this only as a guideline, only as a guideline, so that the assemblies members know what you are going to do. But so, but it will become effective. Uh, it will be after, after yes. After yes, does it. That's what that's I'm all. saying. It will become effective after six months. Yes. Now, from Mr. Parasaran, I want to know one point. I want to know one point. Is there any provision? 246, according to him, gives absolute powers to Parliament uh, to pass such legislation. Is there any, any provision in the Constitution which prevents, which prevents passing of such a bill before, before the constitutional amendment is endorsed? by the president, uh, uh, is endorsed by the president. I'll is there any provision? Uh, I'll make then I'll come to you. Ah. Yeah. For my, no. Yes, I'll make my respect. Yeah. Now we are concerned with Article 124 and a legislation under Article 246, read with the relevant entries in the seventh schedule, pointed by the Honorable Minister. Now, the Supreme Court has interpreted Article 124. We cannot pass an act contrary to the judgment. Therefore, the need for the amendment of the Constitution. If the Constitution is not amended, then we lack the legislative competence. There is no good of going to 246 and reading the entries. Then, Have we the legislative competence under 246 read with the entries? Then, then why, how if, do you explain 246? For the con, no, 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 then why any supposing Constitution amendment is passed? This act be, can be introduced and discussed this act here. In a hypothetical case, this amendment is not passed. Can we introduce a and it, this bill and pass it? We will not be able to do it. I'll call you. Therefore, I'll call the okay. condition precedent is the existence of the amendment which gives the power to the to okay. the legislature. That amendment has not yet committed has not yet come into force. 
it will come into force only on the ratification. Okay. So only on the ratification, the HHV is the power to pass. I got your point. That's it. Sanes Sarma. That's your point. Help me in taking a decision, that's all. Don't bring in, nobody should bring in extraneous point. Sita, I will give you. Only, only. Sir, at the outset, I would like to say that the Constitutional Amendment Bill and the purpose for will, which the bill has been brought is not being questioned because this bill was discussed, of the Judicial Appointments Bill, but the Constitutional Amendment Bill as such was not discussed ever in this House before. It was discussed in the Lok Sabha. It lapsed because the Appointments Bill was not cleared by the Lok Sabha. It was withdrawn day before yesterday by the government with the permission of the House. We are not going into the merits of that since it was the previous government which had brought this one constitutional amendment in the Lok Sabha and the appointments bill in this House. So we are not going into uh, the details of that, no questioning is definitely not. We have been on the same page when it comes to the need for changes. The point which Sitaram Yuturiji has raised, and we have been benefited both from what Mishra ji has said and our very eminent jurist, uh, Parasaranji, so the limited issue is whether we are referring to <coughs> the plenary powers or we are also considering what 3682 says, particularly the proviso that provided that if such amendment seeks to make any change, A, Article 54, 55, 73, 162 or 241, B, Chapter 4 yeah, yeah, that's clear. of Part 5. That's, now this is clear, clear that this actually <coughs> 124 and 224 are very much covered by Proviso B. And what it goes on to say, that is very important. Nobody is questioning the plenary powers of the Parliament of the House. There should not be any doubt. It is, it is the legislature and the plenary powers are there, the Constitution provides for that. But the same Constitution also says about ch Chapter 4 of Part 5 and Chapter 5 of Part 6. And it says, there it makes it very clear that the amendment, any amendment, because one thing is very clear, Law Minister and we are on the same page, and we talked about it, that the constitutional amendment has to be taken up first. Now the question is, no, before, before please, sir, so I'm, no, just completing. I'm just completing. Okay. Before the constitutional amendment is taken up, passed, and given the assent of the president, thereafter, can we proceed? I, I have heard the law minister very, okay. very, very carefully, very attentively, that this shall come into effect on such date. Okay. as the central government may by notification in the official as it yeah. That is fine. Uh, there's no uh, two views on that or the interpretation. The fundamental issue is different. No, can we you, are taking up only can you, no, 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 no. Sir, can now, that you proceed? Is clear. Can, no, can you, can See, you, sir, I have raised a question no. of the plenary powers, no, then you take tomorrow. plenary powers, what? or the, no, no please, 368 no. The yeah. House benefits from such discussions. Yeah. No, no. Sir, no, sir, it's very clear. My understanding, my understanding is that ratification of the 50% states, yeah. and it has to be sent to all the state legislatures. Okay. So whether we can, it's no, a no. question. No, we, that is, Mr. No, Mr. Anand Sharma ji. No disagreement. Anand Sharma ji. See why? Why? See Anand Sharma ji. No, you cannot now, overlook one point. No, that's what I'm saying. Proviso. Okay. Now the B. point is very clear. Now please. Please, please. Now, law minister has made it clear that we are now only considering the constitutional amendment bill. The veteran, you know, a legal luminary veteran who was also Advocate General, Honorable Parachan is here. I asked him specifically, is there any legal objection in taking up constitutional amendment now? He also said no. Before me, 
because honorable law minister only said that he wants to consider taking up the constitutional amendment now before me only that is there sri achuri also agreed that can be done you also agree so let me say uh, yeah so let us take constitutional amendment today regarding the other aspect whether before passing the constitutional amendment and be before becoming it a law whether that bill can be taken or not i will give the ruling when it comes it has not come it has not come i will give the ruling at that time so we can take the constitutional amendment bill yeah sir sir okay. sir sir, sir. Okay. My, my only point is yeah. i will really the law minister honorable law minister when he was uh, speaking here made certain imputations of why are we afraid what are we doing what are we afraid of no, no, nobody that is, is afraid all... of anything sir no nobody all... is afraid of anything all that we are saying is be very clear about our legislative competence no, yeah that is now that is very important because it in the eyes clear. of the people and in the eyes of the judiciary okay. it should not be struck in down as ultraviolet no no it's not not only that sir the point is the 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 so points i want the law minister to pay attention to this the need for a constitutional amendment arose because that it was necessary to enable such a bill to be moved yeah, and adopted that's correct if we had unlimited powers under article 246 there would have been no need to amend the constitution the constitution amendment arose because of that need so please keep that in mind that is the point that i am saying let it not be not competence wise okay okay let all these points be debated let all these points be debated after the introduction of the bill no no because listen. because we all know that all acts passed by parliament are subject to judicial review yeah why we are apprehensive so much yeah because yeah. last what what happened last time last time only the judicial commission bill came up then objections were raised by the honorable members that without the amendment of the constitution this judicial commission bill cannot be taken up okay. this is why government took up the, the constitutional amendment bill it was passed then it was left okay this is why government has come up with both the bills all right if anyone has any objection let it be debated after the introduction of the bill yes. okay all right now see now therefore see us now please so much is said please no it cannot be like that why is this what have no have you can you help me with any other additional information No. So what? Wait a minute. Have you got to say more than what? No, not on this legal point, but I have another. No, question. another point, not now. No, not, no wait a minute. No, sir. another point now. Me, Only the legal point. No, but you will. Have... Only the legal point. No other point. I will allow you after some time. No, no, time. I did. You, sir, you have allowed me to speak on that. I am not speaking on a legal no, point. See. Sir, I am not speaking on a legal point. Then don't do it now. Yes, sir. I am on a strictly yeah, legal I point. I am not going to speak then. I am on a strictly legal point. Don't do yeah. it now, please. Okay, you just settle the legal point. I will point allow, and allow, yes. allow you. Yes, I will speak, allow sir. you. No problem. Yes. Now, please, honourable members, please. Now, from what I have understood, it is like this. There is no legal hitch in taking up the constitution, uh, the constitution amendment now. Now, number one, number two, since it is not being introduced here the some members raised the objection about introduction it is a bill not being introduced here it is a bill already passed in the lok sabha and transmitted to rajya sabha so we can now take up the constitution amendment bill for consideration number 3 regarding the legal question raised here regarding the judicial appointment commission bill on that the chair will give its ruling when that is being considered if it is considered tomorrow now you can uh, move motion for no no i i'll call you earlier i will i'll give you wait i will give you i will give i am sending you earlier we you can give mo, uh, motion for consideration of the following constitution amendment eh no 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 please rule 69 I have called him. What is this? Sir, uh, my point no, no. of order, sir. Then I have to allow you. Mr. Point Gow. of order. Point of order. What point of order? Sixty-nine. The bill has passed by the Lok Sabha, not circulated up to okay. now. Okay. Okay. Then how can the minister? That is valid. I, I I accept that. I accept that. 
is, no, I accept that. What is the position? What is the position? Ah, no, no, for that, you got, uh, they don't know, there is a, law minister has said, there is no change in the constitution amendment. No, but, but it should no, be, it should only, be, it should be you, you explain it, you say that, you say that point. Yes, one minute. Sir. Yeah. No, no, the point is, uh, sir, the sir. bill is, I will explain the portion. The bill... Introduced, then taken up for consideration. Only because the other house, other house has also passed no, no, an no, amendment. That, no. Sorry, sir. So, rule 69 is very clear. Unless and until the members have the benefit of reading. And secondly, secondly, sir, because this is what the rule book says, there is an amendment. Once that amendment is also there, then it has to be introduced as such, as the Honorable Law Minister knows better. Then only the House can take it up for consideration. Uh, so, the Law Minister, what do you have to say about that? Sir, I said very at the very outset that the Constitutional Amendment Bill has been circulated. Only thing not written, I must acknowledge, openly confess, as passed by the Lok Sabha, that will come late in the night. But I had said, I had requested to this house through you, sir, and I'm again repeating, and I'm giving my clear assurance that not a word, yeah. not a comma, full stop is changed. What is stated in that bill is, that is second amendment, it has become 99th amendment. Therefore, I have given a notice to that effect also. I would request this honorable house to kindly yeah. permit me to introduce it, make my, okay. on the amendment, and allow it to make yeah. the comments. Okay. No, there is no... See, see, that bill, Mr. Rajiv, that bill is already circulated. Lok Sabha has not made any amendment. Only a number is changed. It is the same bill. Lok Sabha, our opponent on the bad, bad thing. That is the president. You check the whole no, president. No, do you? No, no. All president. Sir, sir, on that, sir, I must that, consider. Yeah. Secretary, just a minute. Just a minute. The secretary is not ready to accept any amendments. Because after us, it passed by the Lok Sabha, they are ready to accept the amendments. Then how can I, we submit the amendments? This is a constitutional amendment thing. Not any, no unprecedented. This is as the chairman no, can okay. say. But only no, no. on uh, I extraordinary am, situations. I am agreeing. Then how, what about the there amendments? There should be time for amendment. It is, uh, I can only go by consensus now. Yeah, yeah. Now, please. Now, please. Yes, yes. Mystery, mystery. I called mystery. Mr. Mystery was... Kesho Rauji, I called mystery. Sir, I have a basic objection about the style of the functionings of this other, other Wait department? a minute. I mean, the other day, law minister had come. The, the business was this state. He, he said the revised list. Sir, listen now, sir. Yeah. He circulated the revised list and the bill was another day the withdrawn. Today, the bill is not listed no, in the business today. withdrawn with our today. consent. No, no. no listen, withdrawn sir. with the house consent. Yeah, but oh. why, the, why, why, why they don't allow us the time? No, no, what no. is the so much hurry of it, no. sir? I don't understand. They come on the 11th hour and pass, ask us to no, pass no, the no, bill you... without doing any, any study it or anything. It amounts to criticizing the it's house. It's not fair, sir. Okay. What they are hurrying for, I don't understand. What is it that? Okay. What is that the so basic I... objection of the style of okay. country you made your government point. Now taking this house for a ride? Are baiti, what do you want? What do you want to say? What do you want to say more than this? Listen to me. The bill circulated to. The bill circulated to us says as introduced in Lok Sabha on 11 8. Ah, okay. That is what, not as passed. As okay, introduced. that I know. Uh, now, please, is. now, honorable members, now, no, I'll allow you. No. Now, now I, my honorable members, now, Pre, now, now, you please give H us H the right H H to move amendments on the basis of the earlier draft. On the basis H of the earlier bill that you circulated. Pre H Sir, please. Sir, you tell the secretary to please act. Now I only. Sir, 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 give me just two minutes time. Two minutes, sir. Then you reply, sir. Please do that. Sir, please do that. Okay. The passing of the bill from the other house has already been intimated by the secretary general, sir. 
I have already made a request and I am again meeting. Yeah. On behalf of the government, we are absolutely open. Let them file their amendments. The whole thing is not going to be completed today itself. It will be finalized tomorrow. They can press their amendment. We have okay. no objection. Now the I question is, now please, hold on. Now the question is yes, very, very simple. Now listen. Now see, it's a question of cooperation of the members. It's only question is whether we cooperate with it. That Honorable Law Minister has made it very clear. First, Mr. Rajiv's objection, I would say, I have accepted that. Bill should have been circulated. And also there should, there should be time for amendment. No, amendment. Both I am saying. But the answer to the circulation is already we have given. No, no, please. No, please. You, you, are, you, are, you are not running the house. I am running it. Sit down. Now, second point is amendment. You raised a point of order regarding amendments. Now here only the Honorable Minister has requested, which if we can agree to that, that we can start it and amendment can be, the house is supreme the house can decide please mr misri mr rapola sit down i you should know the rules i ask i you should know at least the rule that when the chair is standing and speaking you should not shout or you continue to shout i will sit then what the second point is only this members want time for giving amendment now what has been requested is that members can give amendment today and also give amendment tomorrow. House is supreme. House can decide on that. If you agree on that, we can, we can start the motion. Yeah. Why not? So, constitution amendment. Yeah. Now, no, no. no. Constitution amendment bill can be moved. Sir, just a minute, sir. Only constitutional amendment. Sir, sir. Hey, where is the business, sir? Hey, where sir. Is, no supplementary business. That bill is already said. The bill already circulated. circulated. Supplementary business is circulated. Twenty-nine. Bill is already circulated, Rajiv. Supplementary business. Sir, supplementary. same bill I told you. Supplementary business. Rule 29. Rule 29. I know 229. Rule 29. So what? No supplementary business. Business of the day. Rule 29. 229. Rule 29. Rule 29. Please, please, please. Mr. J, please. Mr. J. Rule 29. List of business. 229. Rule 29. List of business. No supplementary business is circulated. It is not in the list of business. The government is not circulated any supplementary business. This is root. Please, please, let me complete. No, no, no. This I no, Rajiv ji, I told you it is only with the consent of the house. No, I, no please, sit down, this Rajiv. Is rule of business. No, I have already no, sit down. I have already said that house is supreme. If the house agree, if there is consensus, we can proceed. I said that. If the house don't agree, you say you don't agree. I have nothing. I have nothing to. Then why do you quote the rule again? Huh. We are considering. We are considering a constitutional amendment bill. We have specific rules. Huh? This is the duty of the government huh. to submit their business, and the secretary should circulate it. The supplementary that business. Minister no, has why, no, we have no right. We have okay. no right to violate the rules. We have no right to violate the rules. Where is the supplementary business? <laughs> No, no, it is no, only no, that is not correct. Not correct. Violation. Circulate, circulate. Don't bill No, no, no. is clear. You can yeah, the... no. So every member, we cannot overrule the rules. This is the rules of the house. How can the chair make a ruling over the rules? Yeah. Yes. Who was deputy chairperson for 18 years? Please tell. The chairman is competent enough to waive any rule which is no, in the that rule. That is there. And Unless otherwise chairman. Another thing, sir. The bill, just a minute, please. The bill is already in the property of the house. 
the Secretary General announced that as passed by the Lok Sabha, yeah. it be announced in the House. Mil gaya. Supplementary business bhi aaya. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we can proceed. See, now, now we can proceed. Rapoli, you sit down. Viplauji, sit down. Viplauji, sit down. I think, see. Now, what? Yes, you want to see? Law Minister. Okay. Now, Law Minister, to move. I have been asking for an opportunity for the last 10 minutes. Eh? Pardon? You want to say something? Uh, please, 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 please. Please, please. You please. Sir, I have a responsibility. And we have a, we have a system to taking the leaders into confidence. And then some of the leaders told me they are not in favor of extension of the house. They are requesting that better we complete the business today and tomorrow and then the adjourn the house. That being the case, I made a request saying, please cooperate. We'll have this sort of procedure. Discuss today, tomorrow, and then okay. adjourn. That is the understanding we have reached. But the, here they are saying sir, differently, sir, what can I do? Just, just, no, no, I'm not questioning the chair, sir. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything at the chair. My, my problem is, if every member has to be consulted, that process also we can take up in future. Because that is the system. Normally, we consult the leaders. And secondly, we appeal to the chair to take sense of the house. And you have seen also overwhelmingly majority of the people who are willing. And if suppose the house decides in collective wisdom, no, we want to have a longer debate. Let us debate tomorrow and debate on 19th, debate on 20th also, I have no problem. You decide. No, that's okay. No, no, there's uh, nothing new in that. Now, please, I have already, now, please, I have already given my ruling, ruling that I will repeat. There is no, no please, there is no legal hitch in taking up the constitution amendment now. Therefore, I, I am allowing the minister to move the constitution amendment now to move it. It is not introduction, it is a motion of the bill which is passed by Lok Sabha, it is already here. And, there, and furthermore, those who want to give amendment on that, they can give tomorrow morning also.